In this story, I'm gonna tell you about Silver Lake, Los Angeles, where, public warned to beware the dog killer, a guy who murdering pets, and there's a guy named, Sam, 33 years old, aimless, interested in theories and hidden messages, and an interested in paying his overdue rent. Sam meets his new neighbor, her name is, Sarah, who despite having caught him spying on her, invites him over, the two get high and watch how to marry a millionaire, but when her roommates interrupt as they begin to kiss, Sarah suggests Sam leave and they hang out the next day. In the morning, Sam discovers Sarah and her roommates have moved out overnight, and becomes obsessed with learning what happened. Noticing a strange symbol painted on the apartment's wall, Sam saw a woman in Sarah's apartment, and he followed that woman from the apartment to a series of elite Hollywood parties, encountering the pop band, Jesus, and the Brides of Dracula, and a performance artist working for a prostitution ring of struggling actresses. All seem connected, but Sam struggles to find any meaningful pattern. Sam returns to his apartment. He sees a news report detailing the discovery of billionaire Jefferson's events, burned to death in a car with three women. He recognizes Sarah's hat at the scene, and a small dog similar to Sarah's found dead. Sam contacts the author of Under the Silver Lake, an underground comic about neighborhood urban legends. He tells Sam that Sarah's disappearance, the dog killer, the owls kiss a naked woman in an owl mask who seduces and kills people in their sleep, and messages in pop culture are part of the same conspiracy and has installed security cameras throughout his house. Later, the police find the author dead in an apparent suicide. Sam enters the house and reviews the security footage, discovering the author was killed by a woman dressed as the owl's kiss. Following clues hidden in Jesus and the Brides of Dracula songs, Sam meets the homeless king, who brings him to a bunker underneath Griffith Park leading into a supermarket. With the help of the performance artist and her friends, Sam meets the songwriter, a fabulously wealthy old man, who claims to have written most of history's popular songs. When the songwriter tries to shoot him, Sam bludgeons him to death with the guitar that purportedly belonged to Sam's musical idol, Kurt Cobain. At a party in the Hollywood Hills, Sam meets Jefferson Savence's daughter Millicent, also running into his now famous ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend. Millicent convinces Sam to go swimming in the Silver Lake Reservoir. She gives him a bracelet identical to Sarah's that belonged to her father, and is shot dead by unseen assailants and sinks to the bottom of the lake, mirroring a pose from Sam's favorite issue of Playboy. Sam manages to escape, and combines the bracelet, the author's cereal box prize, and a Legend of Zelda map from the first issue of Nintendo Power to reveal a location absent from web mapping where he finds a man and three women in a small hut. As Sam holds them at gunpoint, the man reveals the truth. Throughout history, Wealthy men such as himself chose to lock themselves in underground bunkers similar to the one Sam discovered. Much like Egyptian pharaohs, in order for their souls to ascend, accompanied by three wives. Sarah and her roommates were Savence's wives, and their deaths were fate. Their bunker has been sealed, but they can still be contacted via video telephony. Sam speaks with Sarah, who confirms that she entered the bunker willingly. At peace with her fate, she and Sam share an emotional farewell. Sam drinks the tea that the wealthy men offered to him. Sam, the wealthy man and his devotees begin to pass out as the homeless king arrives. On awakening, Sam finds he is chained in an underground space. The homeless king searched Sam and found dog biscuits, which makes homeless king angry as Colt said to be hating dogs. When Sam tells him that he did not actually have a dog and kept biscuits only in memory of his painful breakup and in the knowledge that he would never see his girlfriend's dog again, the homeless king lets him go. Returning home, Sam spends the night with a neighbor whose parrot repeats incomprehensible words. From the balcony, 
Sam watches as his landlord and a police officer enter his apartment to evict him. They notice one of his walls has been painted with the strange symbol seen earlier, which Sam now knows to be a message from the cult to stay quiet. End of story. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget there's a dislike button too.